I want to show you exactly what you're going to get <laughs> when you ask me to do your research for you. I mean, I've been studying free money and health services that are available in our country for about 30, 40 years now. And I pour my heart into it every day. You know, and and I, I, I'm able to do that because I, I really believe it's important. I mean, I've seen fat cats use it. This is how I've you know, started finding out about this is helping Fortune 500 companies use this kind of stuff. And I know, God, the small business too, or the independent entrepreneur, or, or if you just want to start your own consulting business or freelance business, or maybe be part of the gig economy or, or contract work or any of those kinds of things, there's money in hell for you to do that and lots of it and that's why if i can show you a sample table of contents from a report i do out you can see or at least have a better possible understanding of what the value is of all this stuff that i could give you i mean that's i mean just one phone call that could save you thousands tens of thousands or whatever or even hundreds uh, and whether it's now or later i mean these are resources and tools in our economy and our life that everybody has access to this is what democracy is about it's for everybody it's not only for donald trump it's for the rest of us too but you have to know it's there and about asking the right questions google it's too hard so let me go through a sample table of contents okay every every report i sent out now has a a video interview i mean a video tutorial telling you what's in the report why it's important and how you could use it okay now this is a customized just for you and your subject your kind of business you want to start or whatever it is and how you can get the most advantage uh, out of the sources i'm going to take you then i because there's so many sources see there's over 150 at least sources in the report for starting a business uh that i i identified like the best for you to really start with before you go into all 150 and that's the second first thing i do and then oh <laughs> then oh i gotta figure this out here why isn't this working for me uh okay then i go to your local so this is like your local county, your city, your state. They all have programs like this. And this is the county and city first. Look at all these free entrepreneur training, you know, and coaching, assistance for women who want to start and grow a business, $3,000 microloan for Latina immigrants to start a business. Man, you know, free money to live on while you start your business. So all the local programs. Then I go to your state what your state has. Uh, like this report here, there's seven sources of micro loans up to $50,000, you know, uh, for people who don't have a lot of money, <laughs> eight small business loan programs just for your city or $50,000 for low income entrepreneurs to start green businesses. That's amazing. How would you know to ask for this kind of stuff? You know, $5,000 grant to sell overseas, you know, uh, it's all that. Okay. Now here's money to get contracts. See, that's another thing. More than grants i think from the government give me a contract you could be a freelance you know artist or, or do freelance writing on your kitchen table and get fifty thousand dollars see and all these sources that i'm giving you too will have video instructions about this interviews of people have done it experts who give out the money things like this the actual bureaucrats i go around the country really interviewing bureaucrats who run these programs so you could see firsthand or how about money and help from incubators accelerators and meetups meetups you probably don't even know what the hell they are I didn't for until a few years ago. You know, like a startup with an idea and a, and zero money could find an incubator and get twenty five thousand dollars and all the free help needed to start your business. So I give you a list of free there. Then other grants and free money, private small business grants, the the companies, the, the uh, private organizations that give out money, angel investors, how to find them and credit invest, crowdfunding money with a credit invest. These are fat cats for for free. Put your your business up there and. And get money. Non-traditional business loans. This is these are business loans. You get zero percent interest. Who would know about that? Crowdfunding. That's probably the biggest thing <laughs> in the government. I mean, non-government money to get this. So it's not only government money. I'm showing. I'm showing you 
non-government money. So you, you could have like, a, a quit your job, invest $150 on the internet and get $350,000. I show you interviews, people who did this, all these things have an interview. This guy who, who, who lived a life of crime and drugs and he said, they want to give up this thing. And he went on the crowdfunding, got $8,000 to do a rap. <laughs> See, anybody could use this. Doesn't matter your background. You could have, you know, uh, bad credit, no credit, no financial statements, nothing, and, and get money. Nowhere in the world. And how women are 100% more successful at getting this kind of money than men are, or how to sell your product on the internet for free. It costs nothing to start up a, a, a business on the internet. You don't need hucksters, you don't need marketing people, all this kind of stuff. I'll show you how to get this free. I have interviews of people who did it, uh, how they quit their job in six months and then was able to hire their boyfriend you know, for their business. Look at all these programs, 150 of them. Other things you don't know about, like why you shouldn't quit your day job. You know, everybody, oh, the only way to start is something to do it full-time. No, <laughs> data show it's the opposite. Uh, even I show you new business ideas on the internet that you could use and start making money right away. It takes effort, sure. Everything takes effort. And that's the key. But if you want to be there, then you put in the effort. And that's what I'm trying to show people. Things they could be doing, things they really want to do in life, you know, because you'll do it better, you'll do it harder. How to get justice. Man, I show you how, <laughs> how to get free legal help for anything, any business, any organization, or people screw you over man there's a government office that regulates that you contact them and they have to investigate for you they'll put the people in out of business even if they don't treat you right but who knows you know you go on google and put you know legal help and you get somebody charging five hundred dollars you know and they'll do it for free and they're more powerful you know you just have to know the right agency to call you know and then how to get free help and other kind of stuff i do i'll show you people do this kind of stuff for free so we have more problems and more questions that's it so i mean this is not a, a superficial report this is stuff that you know i'm taking my 30 40 years of experience that i've helped big businesses fortune 500 companies small businesses studying this stuff almost every waking minute of my life <laughs> and i'm trying to make sure more and more people are aware of these things because they're important tools to live in our society to get by and showing people their options nobody knows really all these options we have yeah, that's the whole thing in life is knowing your options. You, you think your option is just that you need $100,000 to do something? No, you don't. I'll show you how to do it without that. That's what I'm about. And, and trying to get more people to grow in life and contribute more and be more satisfied and more loving. I think that's how you love more in life when you're happy doing what you're doing because then you become more lovable too. <laughs> so then it'll make everybody nicer. <laughs> if you're nicer, everybody else is nicer. They want to be around you and all this kind of stuff. I know life is a bitch. <laughs> and that's <laughs> but there's ways around it and it takes effort so let me help you get the tools to make that change well it seems to me that, <laughs> that rich people pay like 30 to 50 percent less for stuff that you and I pay for. <laughs> well, actually, it's because they, you know, like, like Hillary and Trump, and they have nonprofit organizations and businesses where they're able to write off like 30 to 50 percent of their life, you know, <laughs> as tax free, you know, and that's why there's no such thing as a private jet, as far as I can see. There's no person that would pay for a jet, a personal jet with private money. They're doing it in business money. It's cheaper. In other words, if they're buying a jet, you know, with after tax money, see if they're getting it, say if they get a salary like normal people, and then they take that salary and try to uh, buy a jet with it. Instead, what they do is it becomes a business expense. They buy the jet before they have their salary. So they pay no tax, taxes on it because it's a business expense. Anything you're doing for business, you don't have to pay taxes on it because you're supposedly trying to get more business. So, so they're able to get a, a huge discount than the rest of us. So that's why, you know, there's no such thing as a private debt. People are paying that with before tax money in their business, you know. <laughs> and so that's why most businesses don't make a lot of money. They don't have to because they get everything they get. <laughs>
<laughs> a lot cheaper if they don't and they figure out a way to put it through their business and, and what's so interesting though it, it's, it could be a business could be a nonprofit organization the same way so Hillary does the same thing you know they use these organizations so they don't have to pay a lot of taxes you know on how they run their lives in other words, and, and you as a lower income you don't have to have a trillion dollar business you don't want a private jet but if you have a business you and you're running it on a home that means you could write off a lot of your home people write off their country clubs people write off their uh, you know, lunches you know or dinners this is why all these fancy restaurants stay in business nobody's gonna go and pay $500 for a meal unless you know, they write it off you know and they don't pay that with after-tax money this is why these expensive restaurants stay in business everybody uses it they say for business so they can write it. travel is the same way you know uh, vacation sporting events you know the box seats and everything as long as you <laughs> you say and you know, verify that you know you took a business client there or something like that you know you don't have to pay you know taxes on that income so you write it off before you take your salary to live on so that means you don't need a lot of money to live on because you're already living like a millionaire <laughs> off your business you know? and I think it's the greatest tax advantage that this country has to offer you know? and it's not going to go away they're not going to change that tax code because every fat cat lives this way and I assume that's why Donald Trump doesn't want you to see his taxes <laughs> his whole life <laughs> is spent you know with pre-tax money you know he doesn't want to pay taxes on money and then buy his jet or buy his big picture of himself that he spent twenty thousand dollars on or something I don't know or some kind of story like that so that's one of the advantages and I think what's happening now in our country is that we have less traditional jobs you know the traditional jobs or the paycheck and a w-2 you know are shrinking so they're not around as much anymore and the benefits that mostly people got from these traditional jobs insurance coverage and pensions I mean that's disappearing you know, so that's why we have to realize more and more of us how being an independent contractor or a freelancer or self-employed is becoming now not only by necessity but there's benefits for that too that you don't realize because you could live more of your life you don't you need less money you know like before I had kids I didn't need any personal money I was doing I was I have so much fun in business this is what I spend most of my life doing <laughs> everything was business I loved it you know? and not until I had kids I had to raise kids and things like that that I need much personal money and that's why it's something people should realize you know and there's so many ways to make it easier you don't have to be a, a tax accountant or a lawyer or an accounting expert or something like that to figure this stuff out there's offices where you live Live, business development centers these, these are government offices where they're not government offices the private offices paid you know where this the government gives these people grant money to help you figure that out for free they show you how to do that taxes for free you know and they help you through the process step by step whatever so you don't have to go on Google and find out about tax problems and you just get people that are going to uh, you know charge your money to do that you know these are the free people that you won't find using Google you really have to dig and that's why you know to me Google is creating problems because you think that's the only answer and it's not the good answers are out there and they don't cost money but it takes digging and research and that's what I do you know uh, I've been researching and digging information particularly opportunities you know for 30 or 40 years of my life now and helping rich people take advantage of them and uh, middle income people and poor people everybody and that's why I concentrate I don't want to help rich people anymore they don't need me they'll find this stuff out without me and the rest of the, the people should know about this stuff I mean it, it, it's not advertised and this is a way to live and people make fun out of it or something like that but it's survival I mean that's what we all have this survival anxiety in life you know how are we gonna make our way through this life how are we going to pay for our way through this life so you have to learn about the tools that are out there today that you know make it possible or make it more possible or whatever if you keep banging your head against the wall and stuff that doesn't work anymore I mean that's a definition of crazy you know you, you keep banging away and expecting different results every time <laughs> and it's a, you have to know about these alternatives out there you know that are available and, they, and these are the things that create more opportunities than doing the same old stuff again that isn't working you know and that's why I did the free research maybe I could help you you know let's go to 
ZenTutor.com and I have one on starting a business that I will do the research and find you every opportunity you know that's free the free money the free help the free legal advice the free tax counseling help for you to start or expand that business the free marketing help the free you know uh, you know, advertising money you could even get. And this is even as a freelancer looking for a job, how to get a government contract instead of a government job. And that's even probably more powerful and, and, and bigger and whatever. And you can get more of them than just one. Getting a job is just one thing. Just like if you had three part-time jobs that paid twice as much as one full-time. You know, that's the way I think the economy's going and the world is going and we all have to start you learning how to take advantage of it. So I want to help people do that. I mean, I think this is the greatest opportunity, you know, that is out there today. You know, it's not the old stuff anymore. It's this new stuff that's growing. And you want to get in on the beginning of a wave as it grows, not at the end, like the traditional economy and then the wave is going back out to sea, <laughs> going away from the beach. That's no fun. So you're looking for the best way to get money to start a business, huh? Uh, do you have any money? Uh, no. I, I'm, I'm working, but, you know, it's... <laughs> I've been trying to find a... Like, I, I've done research, like, on using your website. You, know, uh -huh. uh, you said something about crowdfunding and everything. Uh, about crowdfunding. Yeah, it, it, it really... You know, well, first of all, I think it's better not to have money because if you have a lot of money, then you blow it really doing the wrong things. So the less money you have, I feel, <laughs> the better chance of success you have because you'll find a way that's really resourceful. You know, and that's what it all is about. I mean, starting a business, everybody wants a lot of money and they usually go out of business. <laughs> so if you have a little money, then you can build something stronger. You know, uh, what? What kind of ideas for a business you have, Carlos? Well, I've gotten advice of people tell me that uh, you know, going to business, if you want a business, do something that you're passionate about. Yeah. And my one thing is I like to work out. So oh, I'm okay. So open up a fitness gym. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, uh, Great. No, I mean, and I think that's right because see, anything to me, any kind of business you start is such a pain in the ass that if you don't want to be there, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you'll leave too quick. So if you really want to be there, you'll hang in and figure it out. Okay. Now, so if you don't have a lot of money, to me, what I would start doing, I mean, okay, you could do two things. Okay, let's. Uh, you got to get uh, a retail establishment and. Um, you know, equip it and all that, like, and I would think that costs a couple hundred thousand dollars, right? So you got to go yeah. around and find a couple hundred thousand dollars, okay? So that means uh, you get a lot of that with loans as long as you have partners or somebody else to do that. Now, that's one way, and I could show you a lot of places to, to start doing that. But to me, another way, see, to me, of all this stuff is to me, customers are the important thing. So you could build this retail place and all that and get a couple hundred thousand dollars and nobody shows up, you're screwed, okay. Uh, you know, and that's a big overhead. So to me, is there, how can you do something like this to find to get customers first before you spend any money? Now, a lot of people are doing things like, uh, uh, I would talk to a guy who's doing like an Uber for hairdressers. You know what Uber is? Yeah, it's, like, it's basically like a taxi service. Yeah, it is, but it's on a phone. It's an app. I want a car and, and, and I go on my phone and some guy has a car and he'll drive me somewhere. It's really what it boils down to. And he gets paid because, you know, uh, I am already gave the credit card number to the guy who has the platform and everything. So to me it would be how can you... You know, you, you say you're in the fitness training business, but you go to people's houses and do that. You know, does that make any sense? Because see, that's a way to find how, how to get customers to do that, and you have no investment money. So now from right off the beginning, you're spending all your energy 
getting a customer, which is automatic money already. Instead of figuring out the best way to spend money, <laughs> you can figure out the best way to get money, which is customers who want to pay for fitness. You know, and, and then where do you live, Carlos? Uh, I live in Alabama. Alabama. Okay. Now, see, another thing what you could do is something like that, fitness. Pay. You could go to somebody's gym and say, hey, I want to use your facilities to do this. So you're going to go find customers that want to work out under your training. I guess that's what you'd want to do is be a physical trainer for people too. Does that make sense or not? Well, I've had people ask me to train them, to, especially a lot of people at my job. Uh -huh. And I've actually went around and asked a lot of women and some other guys, you know, what would they like to see in a gym? Right. And a lot, of, and a lot of them will say, the, especially the women, say the same thing is that they would expect you know they could work out more if they had a daycare to take their kid there to drop them off from right. the gym, and then they can go work out. And the guys basically like. They're trying to lose weight and tone up. Right. So it's a lot of people, and that's the reason why I've been trying to, trying to find a way to know. I found a piece of property to put a gym. I just, yeah. It's hard to try to figure out how to get the money well, to do it. Right. Exactly. And then even when you get there, see, then you have the problem of getting enough people to pay for that. So that's why if you work with somebody else's gym, they will like customers. So you give them 20% of the customers, but you run your operation in there you know what I mean and then that way yeah. you have a way to build a business and then boots I mean now you know how to get customers okay now you start with six and now you have 15 well shit now now I can get a building because <laughs> I, I know I'll have re revenue coming in I'll do it my way and paint it pink on one side and <laughs> and camouflage on the other side for the guys or something you know whatever you think of you know so yeah that's why how do you think about you know uh, doing that now the place to help think you th help think through any problems you have legal stuff like that there's something around where you live called uh, uh, call 211 and ask for the bit uh, call as uh, fall 211 and ask for a small business development center these are free consultants that will help you with any problems uh, of putting any way you want to do it your session has ended. Please take a moment to rate the session. Okay, well, we finally got this done for you. I'm so sorry it took so long. I hope you got the refund by now, and uh, I apologize for anything, um, any inconvenience that it caused. But let me go over what I sent here. I mean, we got, like, God, there's over 100 pages of stuff here. So I, I know it's, it's a lot of stuff, and it's hard to follow up on everything. So I want to go over just the general stuff on what's in here so you can take a look at the specifics, where you think uh, is the best place to start, because a lot of this stuff you may not need it immediately but you will in the future somehow come up so it, it, it's just to educate you and to learn about the and, and have all these tools as a resource for for your life forward I mean that, that's the way I see it yeah, and one of the best things we all ha have in this country locally it, it is job training money man if if you don't have a job now or, or you had your own business and it's not working out or you want to go and, and do something else even with your own business i mean you could get trained uh, training money for your own business as a uh, as an entrepreneur or if you want to do something new now that that being self employed doesn't work out you get training money there or if you work for somebody else and then get laid off you get training money see it's like up to $8000 you get to train for a new job you know? and, and for you want to become a massage therapist or you are a massage therapist and you want to learn you know, like a new modality or whatever they call it, <laughs> a new procedure to learn. This is what this money's for. And I have the links there for uh, locally. Uh, and, and it's a national program. It's all over, but it, it, it's managed locally. So there's the links in, in your area. Um, uh, for that now, oh, I, uh, you have to know how to use the computer, I guess, to be able to use this thing. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, I have some videos there because I, I've been interviewed. See, most of these 
programs. I've interviewed government officials, so you know that these are legitimate. These are the people that explain to you how to use the program. They're there. And so it, it's so easy. Sometimes local people running the program have no idea what they have. That's why you, sometimes you have to come in and show people what they have. You know, <laughs> and that's important to do. So that's why I give you the videos and everything uh, to do that. Uh, let's see. Okay, the next one is free money to live on when you start a business. Well, it may or may not be available in your area, but it, it is there in certain regions, and you have to check the local place I told you to check there. And it's really how to use your unemployment money. So if you lost your job or whatever, you could use that same money to start your own business. So it gives you extra money to live on. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now here's a, an office for vets too. I mean, I don't know if you're a vet, you know of anybody. And what's interesting about this office that's locally, they're trained to get money. And they, if you use that office to get money, they get twice as much money than people who don't use the office. Man. So, I mean, it's, it's amazing to me that here we have the government is, uh, using, uh, uh, using government money to train you to show you how to get more government money. Yeah. <laughs> now that's cool, isn't it? Now, also, the, the other time here, the 211. I, I think this is the second most important source of free money and help uh, that you'll ever find, you know, uh, uh, than Google. Google doesn't show you free money and help. Google shows you where to spend money because the things you'll find on Google are people who spend a lot of time, money, and effort to make sure if you Google your problem, you'll see them. And they're, they're there to get money from you from your problem, you know, and, and the people who actually solve your problem for free don't have that money to advertise. So you're not going to find them. Nonprofit organizations, government organizations, other things that aren't even called. See, also with Google, you have to ask the right question. So you're looking for a grant, you know, and, and, and <laughs> heck, grants, you know, 80% of the free money that the government gives out is not even called grants. So you're Googling the wrong bloody question. So that's why I call it the second best uh, the second most important source for free money and help uh, because I think I'm the best. <laughs> but that's a biased opinion. So go to the uh, uh, 211 and I have the, the, the listing there for your area because it's all over the country this works. And, and what's important, I mean, show you how it works. Now, if you go to Google and you put in debt problems, okay, you're going to get, okay, 140 million websites for debt problems. 140 million websites for debt problems in Google. What are you going to do with 140 million websites? You're not going to live long enough, are you? <laughs> okay, you go to the 211, you know, and put that in. Look at, you know, in Green Bay alone, you know, uh, you see there that they have, oh gosh, just, oh my, yeah, again, I have to use my, oh, that's, I'm put, pushing the butt up instead of down. Yeah, an old guy, I got screwed up. You know, you have about, you know, 40 or 50 websites. That's it. These are people locally that help you with different kinds of debt problems, okay? Now, you want 140 million? And of that 140 million, you know, most of those people are going to be charging you money. Now, here's 40 people only 40 and none of them charge you money. See, that's what thing, the whole thing of this report I'm saying, none of these charge you money for anything. Okay. Now they're here's 30 grants for home improvements. Uh, so that's in the database and things like that. So you, you get a feel for how to use this thing. Okay. Also, here's another neat service that people don't use. If you're, if you want to be self-employed or you're a freelancer or you have a part-time business or a small business or even a nonprofit, here's a place where you to get free consulting of any kind for free. They'll help you find money. They'll help you fill out forms. They'll help you show you how to get your taxes done for free. Yeah, they'll do free marketing studies for everything. You know, uh, business plans, everything for free. Things you know, you won't find them in Google uh, unless you <laughs> you have their name. That's the thing. That's what's Google great for. If you have the name. But it's wonderful. I have the link there for where it's where it is in your area, uh, and also I have a video so that you could learn. I mean, I have video. I interviewed these people from some of the centers so you could see what it is. Okay, here's another a free financial appointment counselor. Okay, you have any kind of debt problems? There's grants given to people in your area 
that get grant money to solve your debt problem for free. That's right. They'll work with you. See, I mean, what happens, we're not really sure of all our options in solving our problems, financial problems. So we, we guess what the options are from the little knowledge we know. Uh, and then we try to figure it out. We go on Google and we're going to find people. Hey, this sounds good. And we get somebody and they're trying to sell us something. And, and because they practice on selling you something, man, they know what hits your buttons and what's going to make you send, say yes because you don't know your options. See, with these people, they know the options. They've helped thousands of people all the time with their debt problem. So they know your options and they don't sell you anything. They're not in the business of selling anything to anybody. So that's why, and I have videos there of these people who do these things. Uh, and also here's local people right in your area, other ones that one-on-one -on -one counseling, debt counseling for bankruptcy, housing, and student loans. This is free counseling. This is one-on-one. -on -one. You'll see on that side too, these other people, kind people who have nothing to sell you will help you one-on-one. -on -one. It's like having a, you know, if you sat down at my kitchen table with me here, how I would help you. And these people do it, and they do it for free. See, I gotta charge you. I gotta keep in business. <laughs> All right. Okay, here's more free money management consulting. See. And this is actually from the Department of Agriculture. There's a, a video here. Uh, and now here's another interesting thing you have locally too. If you're a senior, and remember, seniors start at like, uh, well, for this program, it starts at 60, but the government considers you a senior at age 40. Yeah. And, and they help you get benefits. See, that's the other thing. You don't even know what to apply for. You can't, you know, uh, you just can't put in grants or free money or something like that and, and expect to get the real good stuff. No, you're going to get people who know you're searching for that money, want to sell you something. So the people giving out the free money, they may call it direct payments. They may call it loans you don't have to pay back or whatever. There's a thousand names for this stuff that bureaucrats use that, that you know the average person doesn't know. But here are people This again, will sit down with you to get everything. Find out how to get your rental assistance money, energy assistance money, telephone financial assistance money, veterans administration money, disability benefits, consumer problems, long-term care insurance, all this stuff. Okay, here's free help collecting child support. Uh, let's go there. Free Wi-Fi, your community at, at your... Uh, um, um, <laughs> library. Uh, and it's not free life. Five. What's interesting about the library, they are, a lot of them also give now free services to help you like set up a business on the internet. You want to set up a business on Etsy or something. I have a video here. So check if your um, um, uh, library does that or not. And more importantly, what they have access. The library has access to two books. Now, if they don't have them at your library there, they could tell you what library in your area has it. And these are two books of grants. Now, these are official grant directories that cost you up to fifteen hundred dollars to use you know but you can use them free through the library one is ten thousand private grants for individual needs and the other one is a hundred and forty thousand organizations that have grant money you know and, and it's amazing that ninety percent of the websites that get you know uh, people give out grants don't even have a website so that's why you'll never find them. You know, the, these organizations that give out grant money, they 90% don't have a website. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so that's why this is, this, this is a very important directory for finding that. Uh, okay, local banks that give grants to put in your savings account. That's right. I mean, and, and these aren't, you know, savings accounts that are run by Wall Street or, or banks that are run by Wall Street that all they're interested in helping investors. This is for communities. So if you put a dollar in this bank account, you know, they'll put in an extra two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. Wow. You can't win that much money in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> so if you put an extra million, you'll get I mean, three million back. Wow, that, isn't that incredible? Uh, and, and so there's the ones in your area. So contact them uh, to find out more. Now, here's the thing about health products and health-related money and stuff like that. I mean, it seems like health is very important for us in this community, no matter how you know, we're paying. Even with Obamacare, there's still so many people don't have health insurance and, or, or can't get everything paid for. So that's why a lot of local government programs here for health. So you should know about that because you're not going to find them using your you know, Google or whatever. Like here, free checkups for women 45 to 64. That's right, medical checkups are free. Whether you have insurance, you don't have insurance. Then I have free groceries, healthcare, drugs, childcare, and cash 
for jobs. I mean, that's one place to apply for all that. And the food chair, health care, family planning, family planning, planning and child care, low cost life insurance. Uh, and even the state will pay payments if you can't make the payments. OK, and here's get up to five thousand three hundred dollars to help pay for health care insurance or discounts on car seats you know, or free health care home visits for pregnant women or free health care for and dental clinics free these are clinics that you know have sliding scale they may be free you may have to pay a little bit about so if you're not covered or something find these clinics who get government money or nonprofit money uh, to treat you and there's local clinics there's a national database there I have hospitals who don't have to you don't have to pay because they've gotten government money in the past here's got a free prescription drugs you know uh, this is income determinant so if you're a fat cat it won't work for you you know uh, but here I mean doctors don't even know about this program so and here's a video here a young woman who got it donated dental services that's a wisconsin dentist give away things for free they have another free services free dental more free services see i mean it, it, it it's not free all the time everything it, it happens certain times you have to know about this stuff and that's what i'm trying to do is educate it, uh people about this financial assistance for pet owners that's right pets are becoming very expensive and they have medical bills but they're not covered under Obamacare. So here's a list to get uh, grant money and other free services for your pet. Okay, uh, okay here, here's, uh, okay, state and other programs. Okay, subsidized mortgages. Uh, find out if you're eligible for one of these mortgages. If you have a current mortgage now, because there's a lot of new mortgages, you know, on the market that the government put out that you should be aware of. Uh, see if your state has a better mortgage, because they have, see, these are subsidized. If it's coming from the government of the state, that means there's subsidies involved. That means you're not paying top dollar. You know, if, if it's uh, Bank of America is doing it, man, you know, you're, you have to pay top dollar. And it's no bargain, believe me, because all these fat cats who own the bank, why are you paid a lot? <laughs> yeah. So that's why, you know, something we're going to, is going to be cheap. Okay, here's buy a new home with only $1,000 of your own money. That's a state program. They have. You could get into a house with just $1,000 cash. So you can borrow that from a friend and all of a sudden have a new house in no, no time at all. Foreclosure prevention. You're worried about being, you're, you're, you're going to lose your home. Okay, here's a program to help you stop that. Rental assistance. Money for a down payment and low interest rates. Right, you get like fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for down payment money. Closing costs. You know, homes. You know, uh, low interest mortgages with closing costs, no down payments. Well, actually, the down payments, you get that for free. You know, and that's why they're giving you grants or loans you don't have to pay back as a down payment. First time home buyers, preventers, and designated mortgage interest rates reduced for venture. Or $15,000 to fix up your home. So many people. Need money fix your home. Two one one is a good place for that too to find uh, nonprofit organizations to uh, fix your home. Now here's a special office for women trying to get ahead in life. What what we set up in all the uh, states is what's it called a commission on women, and that's to make sure they know about the resources, know about things. So if you're a woman trying to do something, get a job, start a business, have financial problems, that's a good place to touch base with because they know the services are really set up for women. Here's something for victims of crime: twenty five thousand dollars. Man, people don't realize. Yeah pay for lost wages, medical care, counseling, stuff like that. <laughs> wow. Because, you know, you got mugged. So you need new glasses. You lost your income. You know, that's what they're $25,000 to do that. Okay. Grants for artists, $3,500. Well, here's another website I included here because they pay artists every month. Over a million dollars a month is given out to artists on Patreon. You got to put up your artwork. What are you doing? Enough people like it. Then they just started sending you money for, you know, it's just like the Renaissance era, you know, where, where in Italy, that they were you know patronizing artists to keep them alive that's what this website does so if you're an artist know about that okay here's the top 25 grants for services in Wisconsin everything from paying your your uh, uh, utility bills paying getting your house fixed free money for seniors getting your telephone bill paid all this kind of weatherizing your home heating and cooling bills you know closing costs money and then videos on every one of these things they're only about four or five minutes a piece of very little go through and actually you know that there, there's uh, child support not only enforcement, but there's a, if anybody ever didn't pay all your child support money to you, 
there probably could be sitting there in this database of money that the state is sitting on. You know, so it takes nothing just to uh, contact them, give them your name, see if there's money. Because see, they collect uh, child support uh, payments from people and just don't tell people. Same thing from other missing money. There's another uh, database up there, missing money. You know, old deposits you forgot to uh, inquiring about. You know, from the utility company years ago or something. Or your grandmother set up something for you in a bank account that everybody forgot about. All that is there you know and, and it just takes very little to, now if you have student debt everybody does it seems no matter how and people 50 60 years old still can't get rid of it soon too. here's how to get rid of it you know and here are the pros now it, it says in this private companies may contact you for student loans for a fee to help you okay the government says remember with your student loans you don't have to have anybody help you do that Government will do all that for free. And, and see, you, you could get your student loan reduced on like $5 a month and then, you know, pay for a while or 10, 20 years and you still have $20,000, you know, they forgive it all. You know, and, and they'll work that out for you. You don't have to uh, pay somebody to do that for you. You just have to know about the program and, and be able to take advantage of it. Uh, okay, student loans, crowdfunding. You gotta know about this, man. There's more going on in crowdfunding than anything else. It's the fastest growing thing. It's growing exponentially. It's up to about thirty-five billion dollars a year now in crowdfunding from like six, you know, last year. Because this is a way to get money for free. No income requirements, no credit check. You keep the money forever. There's no complicated form, business plan, lawyers, accountants. It's fast. 30, 60 days, you get the money. You don't have fat cats telling you what's good or, you know, that this is a bad idea, son. They don't know. But see, the crowds tell you. And that's why you put them on these, the, these websites and figure it out. I mean, everybody has figured it out. You know, more people are using that now. Millions and millions of people are getting money this way for everything. So that's why you got to start learning how to do this because this is a, a a terrific new place to do it and it costs nothing and it's a great place to fail so even if it doesn't work and you know what women are twice as successful as men at getting crowdfunding because see, particularly for like starting a business you know most money for businesses come from venture capitalists to start and they're 90 percent men are venture capitalists so 90 percent of venture capital money is going to men but crowdfunding many, half the people given money for uh, on crowdfunding are women. So that's why women are getting more money than men uh, in crowdfunding. So that's what's so neat about it. Then I have stories, you can see all these videos of people use it, how they use it. Now here's another thing you have to be aware of, is peer-to-peer -peer internet loans. Okay, they're cheaper, faster, easier than banks. You know, uh, the big ones are Lending Club, Prosper. See, what all this is about it is, instead of you putting your money in the bank for, you know, and getting 1% interest on your savings account in the bank and then you lend that money out to some small business at 12%. What happens, they do this all on a platform, you know, which means a website, and, and you give the money and they give you 4 or 5% and they lend it out at 7 or 8%. So everybody is win-win. The only people who are losing are the Wall Street fat cats <laughs> who own the banks. Yeah. Uh, 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 and that's what's neat. See, this is what the internet's doing. It's disrupting so much in our society. I mean, this stuff won't change every night, but this is the exponential growth. Banks aren't growing, but this stuff is. Yeah. Uh, banks won't disappear tomorrow or probably in my lifetime. <laughs> but this is the one. And also community banks. These are the ones I told you about the uh, earlier. Uh, they're better faster and cheaper and nicer than regular banks. Okay, here's my, here, here's how to make some extra money too uh, with internet uh, things. Because there's something called the gig economy going on or on-demand work. This is how labor is being done. This is the growing part of the labor industry in our in our society. Uh, what, you know, getting a, a normal W-2, like a paycheck in our society, that shrinking, getting a 1099, which is working as a contractor or whatever, a freelancer, is growing. And all the new businesses and growth in our society is coming from that kind of business. I mean, like a new business, you probably heard of Airbnb and Uber. Well, Uber now is worth $50 billion, you know, and it's only been around for about five, six, seven years. FedEx is worth $50 billion, but FedEx employ, employs 300,000 people. Uber employs only like two, 3,000 people. That's it. So 300,000 people and 2,000 people, worth about the same money. But Uber is new. This is what's new. 
So all the new growth in our country is from something like this that's not employing people. But a million people are making money off of Uber, driving their own cars and making money only when they want to, on a part-time business, whenever, and flexible, no boss. And see what happens, the platform, what's so interesting about the platform, being a freelancer and, or a part-time worker before uh, uh, was difficult. You had to worry about getting paid, you had to worry about insurance, you had to worry about all this kind of stuff. On a platform, you don't. The platform takes care of it. They have the insurance, they get the credit cards ahead of time, they make sure you get paid, all this kind of stuff. All that, so it's easier than ever. And I have 46 organizations there that do this. Uh, so you can look at them, you know, even doing little jobs, uh, uh, renting out your bicycle if you're not using it, and making money, you can make a couple hundred dollars a month doing that even. Man, it's amazing what our life is turning into. And I show you how to do all that. And then plus, there's an interesting uh, website at the end called peers.org. They, they have, of, of the 46 programs I have there, they, they evaluate about half of them. So we show you from real statistics, people use it, how much they're making, how they do it, what, it, what it's all about. So just, you know, you don't have to trust their website and that's good. Okay, other ways to make money on the internet. Uh, and I have a whole bunch of things there. How to make extra cash having people over at dinner. How to play, uh, save 40% on, on your automobile repair beer. How to make $30,000 just having a, an, extra, an extra pet in your apartment even or whatever that's what people make because people don't like sending their pets to kennels anymore you know or they're like jails for dogs when they go away and they'd rather send them to a nice home yeah or apartment or anything to take care of nicely people make up thirty forty thousand dollars a year doing this so that's like a part-time job man that's terrific so all kinds of things like that how you can make extra money uh on these websites uh are all there uh or even here now how to open up a part-time store for only 20 cents and they tell you all about it I mean, you can do a full-time, part-time, doesn't take much time, start trying it. Maybe this is the way to invest in a retirement, something you really enjoy doing it, uh, doing, and it's a way, again, where the platforms take care of everything. And it's very easy. You don't have to worry about being a computer geek, you know, to do this because they made it so easy. It's sort of like, you know, when the first cars came out, you know, uh, you know, you had to be an engineer to know how to run them. Now they made it so easy for everybody to run them. Same way with computers initially. So it's the same way for setting up a website. It's now just a plug and play. Okay, and then I go into a bunch of things about self-employment uh, to help you with that if you're interested in that. And actually how to get an extra, a fast $700 in emergency cash with no payback, no scams, because people are going to places like your, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? You know, payday loan people, which are gangsters. You know, just stay away from them. Here's how to wait legitimately. And then here's a section on how to get your money back from bad people. You know, professionals, employers, anybody who mistreats you. Watch that introduction video. It shows you you have the power if you learn to use the government, and I show you how to do that. In other words, they'll get your money back for free. You just have to know the offices to go to, and I show you that. And then at the end here, I have a place uh, who will do free research for you for anything. Because again, as you heard from me, uh, I tell you how Google is not a good place to find help. Okay, it's a good place to spend money. You know, you have to really know the exact question to ask, which most of us don't. Um, otherwise, uh, because we don't. I mean, nobody knows the questions. The answers, it, it's good at answers. It's not helping you with the questions. Finding experts that will do research for you for free, and these are all free that I have, two on one, we talked about that other earlier, your local library, and your elected official. You have four or five elected officials right in your area that every office will do something there for you for free. Watch that video, why, and you'll understand why they're you know, their motive, their one thing in life is to help you find something for free. That's all they want to do because that's how they get reelected. Okay, and then I have 50 websites to, uh, that have extra money things to have. Oh my goodness. So you see, I have a lot of stuff there for you to get in trouble and to learn. And what I'm really trying to do is teach people how to live in today's society. The stuff isn't like it used to be. There's different ways. You can't trust experts. They don't know anymore. We're all guessing. And I think the way to survive is to realize you're guessing, realize they're guessing, and try to learn how to get as much out of it yourself as you can without spending money. The more you spend money on trying to solve your answers, the more 
you're just going to get in further trouble. And there's too many places to solve your answers for free. You just have to know your options. And that's what I try to do.